Hej! Gore-Tex har ni säkert talat om allihopa. Just nu befinner vi oss i Bayern i Tyskland. Här har Gore sitt europeiska huvudkontor. Häng med oss in ska vi kolla vad som händer bakom kulisserna. Mm. 1958 bildades företaget Gore av Bill Gore. Han startade bolaget tillsammans med sin fru Viv som vi ser på, på vår tidsaxel här. Och den första produkten man gjorde var isolerade elkablar som man levererade till bland annat IBM. Efter några år kom Bill och Vivs son Bob in i företaget. Bob var en vetenskapsman och han lärde sig mycket om plasten som Gore-Tex är gjord av. 1975 är nästa historiska årtal för Gore. Det var årtalet när vi levererade det första konstgjorda blodkärlet till en kirurg i Virginia i USA. Om vi går fram ett år till så kommer de första Gore-Tex-kläderna ut på marknaden. Då är det ett, ett bolag som hette Early Winters som lanserade gore plagg Om vi går fram till 1989 så lanseras den logotypen som de flesta känner till idag som gore logotypen Och i den logotypen så står det Guarantee to keep you dry. Och det är ett löfte som går ger till alla konsumenter. Det löftet kan vi leverera på, tack vare att vi har en väldigt, väldigt avancerad testprocess. Och den ska vi titta mer på nu. Hello René. Hi. Hi. So this is the Garments uh, lab in uh, in Gore-Tex uh, plant in Feldkirchen. Exactly. This is how we test our garments in here in the lab. And we have different kind of tests what you are doing with each and every garment and uh, laminate. Do you know roughly how many tests uh, a jacket is put through? That's around 100 tests what you are doing with a garment. Um, so depends on the end use but you can say run about 100 tests every 100, year. That's, 100. A lot. that's a lot yeah but that's how we have to to do it okay so we might not have time to go through 100 but uh, let's let's look at a few. a few yeah okay okay here for example we have the shrink ridge test so here we are testing uh, our materials how they react with a uh, water or washing situation so here we have a sample of a textile and we have this plate here which is put on top of this table. We mark it, put it into washing cycles, and then we can measure it afterwards or can indicate it with this ruler how big the shrinkage or the stretch rate, uh, rate is of this product. Okay, René, uh, what do we have here? Yeah, here that's the Zuta tester. That's how we can yeah, test the different kinds of waterproofness in our products or how we can measure the waterproofness. As we don't have the opportunity to build up here towers of 40, 50 meters high, so we are simulating the water pressure with air and water. So here we have a three layer fabric consisting of outer material, the membrane and the inner lining. And now we are placing it here in this tool, bringing pressure on it. It feels really tight here. How, how many kilograms are pressing against the material here? Right now we have 100 kilograms 100. pressing against the material. Okay, wow. But how much can it take? Uh, for all our Gore-Tex products and Gore-Tex Pro products, we have a water column of at least 28 meters. So that means more than double of the amount, so 280 kilograms, 200. which can wow. last on the material. This is not a typical uh, European washing machine, it's an American washing machine. It's a, bit, a little bit different like our uh, washing or type of washing machine. So we have a yeah, fixed box here. We have uh, this bar in the middle which is stretching and really squeezing the material very heavily. And this is also uh, what we use as, uh, as an aging effect, as aggressive behavior. Okay. For example, you can see it here. This polo shirt was a new one. And you can see how it looks like right now. So the seams are destroyed, and you can also see how thin the material is right now. This was in this machine for just 24 hours. So all prototypes of laminate have to last at least 500 hours of permanent washing in this machine. So this was 24 and it's destroyed, but all Gore-Tex laminates are put exactly. there in 500 hours. Exactly. Now here we have spray test. The spray okay. test is where we can demonstrate uh, the influence of water dropping off the surface. So for example, here you can see how it looks like, or how it should look like. You can see here, 
that water is dropping on the surface and it's walling off properly. Okay, so this is not something that has to do with the waterproofness, right? Exactly. This is just about um, the DWR of the outer fabric, of the face fabric. So the membrane is inside, but this is just to keep you comfortable Okay. on the outside. This is how we test, um, yeah, where we're simulating scratching and squeezing materials that we are uh, doing in use. For example, when you are active outdoors, you are stretching and also turning your arm all the time. Okay. And we can do it in different environments as well. Okay, so this was a few tests, right? Exactly, this was just a short overview about our testing or some of the highlights that we are testing and then um, of the raw material testing, but also of the laminate testing and then it comes to a final production. And so these were, were the steps or other steps that we are doing before the products were sent out okay. to our customers. So should we look at an example of that too? Exactly, so then it will come to a rain room testing with the final prototyping. That's what we can see okay. next. So let's go then. Okay. Så nu är vi på väg in i uh, Gårs regnkammare. Uh, just nu så uh, pågår det en uh, valideringsprocess här inne med uh, nya prototyper som testas uh, som ska uh, lanseras på marknaden uh, om ett tag. Det, det vi gör då är att uh, Gård tar emot prototyper från varumärket som vi samarbetar med där vi testar konstruktionen på, uh, på plagget. I det här fallet så är det ett plagg som ska vistas ut i uh, bergsmiljö och så vidare, så därför så utsätts det för ett stormtest. Då simulerar går vinddrivet regn både horisontellt och, och vertikalt i en timme. Skulle det vara så att plagget läcker någon gång under den här timmen, då får varumärket en, en feedback ifrån går på saker som behöver ändras. Och så testas plagget igen och när det väl är godkänt så får det en, en går approved stämpel. Den här prototypen skickas sen till fabriken där plaggen som serietillverkas och som kommer ut i butikerna sen produceras och då måste alla plaggen vara identiska med, med detta prototypexemplaret som har godkänts ut av Gårda. Nu är vi på se hur Gårdtex kläder testas och testerna som kläderna går igenom är en grund till att Gårdtex kan leverera garantin som är så unik för Gårdtex. Hållbarhet är en hörnsten för, för kläderna och för Gore-Tex som varumärke. Och hållbarhet är också superviktigt för, för konsumenten för att man får en kvalitetsprodukt men också för miljön för att slipper man producera nya kläder lika ofta så belastas miljön mindre. Häng med nu så ska vi gå in och kolla på hur handskarna testas. Okay, so now we are um, in the gloves lab and with me is Alexandra who is representing the gloves team in Hello. Europe. So Alexandra, up uh, on the table here we have a few different examples of gloves and they all look quite the same, but are they really the same? No, not at all. So um, consumers typically look for different features in the gloves. Some are really freezing quickly, so they would go for a glove with the Gore-Tex technology plus Gore Warm. That is a special um, benefit technology we um, we support. Some are others, um, or some others are really more interested in um, having a good grip, so they would seek for a Gore-Tex gloves containing our plus Gore grip technology. Let's go over there and have a um, quick look at what we do for testing. So every um, prototype which is being produced um, is tested in our Asian uh, facilities. We have a whole lot of team um, to test um, prototypes. And we have two really important tests. That one is our whole glove leak test. And you could put a glove in here and I'll demonstrate that real quick. Um, and then you close, here would close the, the lid and then air is pushed through that and then we see whether a um, membrane in the glove in itself, the whole glove, is leaking or not. So that's one really harsh test we do with every prototype. Okay. The other uh, test I would like to show you is um, breathability. So we have, we typically take our products into also a uh, breathability tester and we put it into a certain scale and weigh the different uh, weights of a 
uh, product with um, some steam inside or without. So then we know whether a product is really a glove, is really breathable or not breathable. So we weigh that. And we do this in a construction like that, producing steam and then weighing it on a, on a scale of that type. If we realize a product is not really sued well, something like that happens. Oh, everyone knows you don't want that. To do that. No, everyone knows that's that annoying. And our um, team in Asia has a, a liner retention test. So if there's a little scissor or a little clam uh, uh, fixed inside the glove, and we pull really hard, and then we know whether it's moving. The liner layers are moving, or they are well constructed and they're not going to fall out. So one other test until we know that a product is really worth going out into the market and for our consumers. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Blickar vi framåt lite grann så kommer går investera ungefär 125 miljoner kronor under de närmaste fem åren på att hitta alternativa material för utbehandlingar. Inför 2016 har också Gore-Tex Sinit lanserats. Det är en ny trelagers teknologi från Gore-Tex som gör produkterna betydligt mer mjuka. De andas bättre och de blir mycket lättare än vad tidigare trelagers kvalitet från, från Gore-Tex har varit. Så att det är ett exempel på ytterligare nya innovationer från Gore. För att kunna fortsätta leverera produkter med garanti till Keep dry löftet så kommer Gore fortsätta med sina kvalitetstester runt omkring i världen. Liksom vi gör här i Feldkirchen Tyskland. Mm.